2004, 2005 Dodge Durango with a 5.7 liter Hemi. If you're having a hydrolocking issue on startup, it's probably because of the intake manifold. Now, there are some holes up in here on this piece of plastic um, that are supposed to be used to hold down the piece of plastic with Christmas tree. And then there's also where the windshield wiper arm um, motors come up. There's holes around those. Apparently, if this drain overflows, or if it clogs up, water will overflow up into here and overflow through those holes down on top of your intake manifold and catch some sort of de defect in there and cause it to suck in when you go to start it up. Um, every time that I've had this happen, it was on startup and it was um, cylinders number seven, six and eight. Doesn't mean it's gonna be the same cylinders for you, but those also are the three hardest cylinders to get to because of all the stuff that's just right on top of them and you're just trying to even see back there. Um, I'd pull one cylinder out at a time, one spark plug out of each cylinder rather. Uh, I pulled the uh, fuel pump relay out of the box right there and then try to turn it. And you know, I got a little bit of a turn after cylinder seven, a little bit more after cylinder six, and then after cylinder eight, it was free spinning. So I was able to crank all the water out. You know, I did this three times before I finally did enough research to find out that it's the intake manifold itself. Even though it seems like it's sealing and everything seems like it's running fine, water's just pooling on top of it. And when you go to start up, it sucks right in. And it's a lot of water too. So um, I don't know if any damage is being done to the engine. I don't know if it's gonna be the same in every situation. Um, Chrysler didn't wanna warranty this apparently either. So you're kind of on your own for it. Um, I'm probably gonna try to do it myself. Also, I do have a Mopar intake. Apparently that didn't have anything to do with it. Everyone else that I saw with this problem had a regular 5.7 Magnum intake from the factory. So I don't think that has anything to do with it. Um, I'm gonna try siliconing up the holes up top here and hopefully that'll help stop it for now. And then it looks like a new intake manifold's in my future. Best of luck.